Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about hardened properties of the concrete mass. As we know, the, there are mainly three tests of the hardened concrete. First one is a compression test for finding the compressive strength of the concrete mass. Second one is a bond strength test for finding the bonding between the steel and the concrete mass. And the third one is the tensile test for finding the tensile strength of the concrete mass. And there are mainly two types of the test with you can find out the tensile strength of the concrete mass. First one is a split cylinder test and the second one is a modulus of rupture test. In the previous lecture, we already discussed about the compressive strength of the concrete mass. And we also discuss about how to determine the tensile strength with using of the split tensile test. And in this session, we will discuss about how to determine the flexural strength of the concrete mass with using of the modulus of rupture test. So let us discuss about how to determine the flexural strength of the concrete mass. Our object is to determining the flexural strength of the beam specimen and you can refer the Indian standard 516-1959, Indian standard 1199-1959, SP23-1982 and Indian standard 1086-1982. If we talk about the requirements of the specimen for finding the flexural strength of the concrete mass, we know that we are finding the hardened properties at the 7 days and 28 days. So, we require the 3 specimen for the particular days. So, we require the 3 beam for the 7 days for finding the flexural strength of the concrete and we also require the three specimen particular beam for finding the flexural strength at the 28 days. Let us discuss about the apparatus for finding the flexural strength of the concrete mass. We require beam mold for finding the flexural strength. We can use the two types of the beam. First one is a 15 by 15 by 70 centimeter size and if you are using the aggregate size less than 20 mm, so you can also refer 10 by 10 by 50 centimeter of mold and we require for loading universal testing machine and we require the weighing machine and tools and containers for the mixing and temper for the tempering. Let us discuss about how to determine the flexural strength of the concrete mass. First of all, you have to prepare the concrete mix for particular grade of the mass like M10, M20, M35 and then you have to finalize the ingredient of the concrete like cement mass fine aggregates, coarse aggregates and the water mass and you have to prepare it by the weighing and proper batching and you have to mix it by the hand mixing or the machine mixing and you require at least 2 to 3 minutes for the proper homogeneous mixing for the machine mixing. Now after the preparing the concrete mass, you have to fill the concrete into the mold and before the 
placing the concrete into the mud, you have to clean the internal surface and you have to oil it. And remember the one thing, your beam mold size should be 15 by 15 by 70 centimeter or you can also use 10 by 10 by 50 centimeter if you are using the aggregate size which is less than 20 mm and you have to compact it properly and then you have to allow for the stiffing for the 24 hours and after the stiffing of the concrete mass you can remove your mold and now your specimen is ready for the curing and then your specimen is put into the curing tank for the 7 days and the 28 days because we know that we have to perform the hardened test at the 7 days and the 28 days. Before the applying the loading in our testing machine, I would like to explain the arrangement of the loading system. Here, you can apply the loading with the two types of the method. First one is a third point loading system and second one is a center point loading system. You can see in the photo on the screen, this is the third point loading system. You can see in the arrangement of the loading, the two roller is applying the loading from the machine to the specimen. And you can see the diameter of the roller is 38 mm diameter. And you can see the these rollers are spaced 400 mm to 600 mm. 400 mm for the 10 by 10 by 50 centimeter beam mold and maximum 600 mm spacing for the 15 by 15 by 70 centimeter mold. So you can see the total arrangement is done for the third point loading system and you can also apply the load at the center of the specimen, center of the specimen by the universal testing machine. And the second picture is also shown that the third point loading system. Now come back to our chart. Now we have to apply the load on the beam and we have to increase the gradually and note down the load at which the specimen failure clear the maximum load applied to the specimen during test shall be recorded and you have to note down peak load at which the your specimen fails now let us discuss about the calculation of flexural strength of the beam first of all age of the beam you are calculating for the 7 days or the 28 days next is weight of the beam you can calculate by the density and then you have to write down the total load. Total load means load at which beam fails, specimen fails and then length of the beam, breadth of the beam and depth of the beam. And you can calculate the flexural strength of the beam with using of the equation PL by BD square. This is the central loading and this is the third point loading system and after the calculating the flexural strength you have to find out the average flexural strength for the particular days for 7 days or 28 days now you can see the result at 7 days or 28 days for the central point loading as well as the third point loading system. So this is all about the flexural strength of the concrete mass. We can find out this test. Let us discuss about the factor affecting the strength of the concrete mass. There are the much more factor will affect to the strength of the concrete mass like size of the aggregate. Next, shape of the aggregates. Next, 
सरफेस टेक्सचर ऑफ द एग्रीगेट्स ग्रेडिंग ऑफ एग्रीगेट्स वॉटर सीमेंट रेशियो एज ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट एफिशियंसी ऑफ क्योरिंग एंड टेम्परेचर these are the main factor will affect to the strength of the concrete mass size of the aggregates the smaller size of the aggregate will give you the lesser strength comparatively to the larger size of the aggregates but if we talk about the workability point of view the smaller size of the aggregate will give you the higher workability but this will affect to the strength of the concrete mass but you can use the proper grading of the concrete and you can achieve the strength with the proper grading of the small size of the aggregate with the proper batching and you can achieve this proper strength and you can achieve the higher strength of the concrete mass but size of the aggregate will affect to your strength of the concrete mass second point shape of the aggregate the rounded aggregate will give you the best workability but this will affect to the strength of the concrete mass but irregular aggregate will give you the best bonding and will give you the best strength but this will affect to the workability of the concrete mass so next point is surface texture rough surface te texture will give you the best strength of the concrete but this will affect to the workability of the concrete mass and glossy aggregate will give you the lesser strength but will give you the best workability of the concrete mass if we talk about the grading of the concrete the proper graded of the ingredients will give you the best result of the strength of the concrete mass if we talk about the water cement ratio as the certain limit you will get the proper strength but after the certain limit this will decrease with increase the water cement ratio and age of the concrete we also discuss about the 7 days strength and 28 days strength because the strengthening process is continuously and you know that the at the 7 days strength you will get 67 percentage approximately and you will get the full strength at the 28 days but this process is continuously and efficiency of the curing will also important role for the hardening process of the concrete mass and temperature will also affect to the strength of the concrete mass we are considering the standard temperature 27 plus or minus 2 degree celsius but in the cold weather condition and in the hot weather condition this will affect the strength of the concrete mass so these are the main factor which will affect to the strength of the concrete mass thank you